What's good, everybody? It's your boy Hurricane giving you a trip in this full form revolution. Every doctor make it shy. This video is brought to you in part by Dollar Store Headphones. <laughs> Sometimes one ear work, and if they both work, it's gonna be low sound quality. <laughs> Dollar Store Headphones don't get you one today. Let's get on to the show. Fuck cancel culture. Simple as that. Back in the day, there were shows that were pushing the boundary, setting setting a new goal and standard for for television. In the eighties, we had um, like we had uh, Cosby's, you know, uh, Different World, all these other. You know, family shows. That's lame. Most of the time, most of the time it was lame. The rest of the time it was a little funny. None of the shit really related to a real black fucking family. And if it did, okay, it's just a small percent. But when Fox became Fox, because like first I think it was. Like, it was another brand before it became Fox. Fox first couple shows, you know, it was kind of lame. But they bought in Married with Children. Married with Children been on the air for like, damn. Been on the air for like eight years, seven, eight years, probably nine years. I'm not sure. But Married with Children, what Married with Children did was took the whole family dynamic and flipped it on its fucking head. All this... <laughs> Everything has a happy ending type shit. No. No. Sometimes remember children in where Al have a crazy look on his face like, damn. Here I go again. And then it just cuts off. Love and marriage go together like a horse and carriage. This I tell you, brother. You can't have one without the other. Love and marriage. So, that show was every bit of offensive towards, like, the husband and the wife, they go at it. Brother and sister, they go at it. Uh, the Bundys go at it with the, um, with the neighbors sometimes. And then Al goes to work. Al getting into it with the, um... Put the ladies at the shoe store, some are big as fuck. Yep. And Al just go in. You know, but it's satire from both sides of the fence. You know what I'm saying? It's like they all jokes. They all just jokes, but people say that Mervy Children couldn't be in this new culture right now because people are fucking sensitive. All through the fucking late 80s and all through the 90s it was extreme dialogue I'm talking about we come in an age where nigga <clears throat> everything was mostly offensive and extreme you either saying some crazy shit or you doing some crazy shit you know or and or it's just over the top funny I never laughed so hard in the 90s before I'm talking about you know, like, there's some funny shit in the 2000s, but I stopped laughing after 08. So, this cancel culture shit really destroys a person's mentality. Because now you're fucking with his freedom of speech, his or hers freedom of speech. That will fuck with your mentality like, damn, I can't say what the fuck I want to say. I gotta dance around my words. I gotta beat around a fucking bush. No. 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 I'm going to say what's on my heart. I'm going to say what I feel. I'm going to put it on wax. I'm going to put it on TV. Take it or leave it. It seemed that people at these corporations or companies at the time didn't really give a fuck. They're like, we want some raunchiness. We want some extreme shit. Bring it. Yo, we got this. There was a lot of great Great, great, great shows of the 90s. But my favorite is Married with Children. 
and um, unhappily ever after. And um, I um, like I believe those shows. It it says fuck the family shows, fuck all this shit, and it just it it took the family shows and just put it on his head. But I say all that to say this: Adult Swim is removing shows from <clears throat> the network and probably from outlets on the internet. So it's best to grab some physical copies of your favorite shit because chances are you might not see it again because everything seems to be going digital. But Adult Swim has got rid of some episodes of Aqua Teen Hunger Force, The Boondocks, and The Shimmering Truth. Now, i never seen The Shimmering Truth. I need to like watch it and find out what's going on. Um, and it say, due to cultural sensitivity... Cultural sensitivity. So, <clears throat> the question is, who is offended when we grew up in offensive culture way before all this? And plus, it's called Adult Swim. Are you an adult? This is for adults. So, obviously, these adults that run these corporations are sensitive bitches. And who knows? Maybe the owner of these corporations are bitches. So, if a bitch is running your company, chances are she might run your company into the fucking ground. Oh, I don't like that show or that episode. Remove it. Why? It's part of the season. Who cares? Move it. So, let's say you're watching the whole season of um, Boondocks for the first time. And, and some episodes being removed and you don't know. So you be watching one, episode one, episode two, episode four. But like, yo, where episode three at? Oh, um, the episode was offensive. What? Then we got five, six, seven, nine. Oh, oh shit, where's episode eight? Oh, it's removed because it's offensive. What? Kiss my ass. So, due to cultural sensitivity, right? So nothing offending blacks or gays or lesbians and all that shit, right? No going against your government or your city government. No going against no authority at all. So due to cultural sensitivity, right? Boondocks was created by a black man named Aaron McGruber. McGruber. I mean McGruder, right? Is it a D or a B? I'm saying McGruder. Made by a black guy. And you, and, you, and you cancel his episodes due to cultural sensitivity. He's cultural. He's black. He has a black show. Y'all promoting this Black Lives Matter shit. So why is you fucking with my man's episodes? And not only that, I heard they doing it to the office. I heard they doing it to 30 Rock. I heard they doing it to Scrubs. No telling what else it could be doing it to. Due to cultural sensitivity, people are offended. Why are you offended? You are an adult. That's like they told motherfucking kids back in the, um kids or parents back in the day. If you don't like the, the fucking episodes or the show, don't watch it. Change the channel. But now, since it's happening all through television, all through media, and all through radio, and it ain't just happening here in America, it's happening all over the world, this lets me know that the new world order is fucking real. That your freedom of speech doesn't matter. You can talk shit all day. Eventually, they're trying to lock us up for saying what's on our mind. For saying how we feel. I think it's going on in China. I think it's going on somewhere else. It's somewhere where a motherfucker speak his mind and gets arrested for speaking his mind. Or making good music or making good movies, speaking their mind. Writing good books, speaking their mind. They're getting played and hold, discredited, extorted, killed, silenced. Put a mask on. To add extra silence 
You know there's no oxygen going to your brain when you keep on doing this shit. In conclusion, the people that run these corporations, these companies, these networks are sensitive. They tell you that your word, your voice don't matter. So this is why black people are making so much fucking noise and screaming and yelling because we have no fucking voice. Because if we had a voice, we wouldn't even have to do this shit. You wouldn't even have to yell, scream, break shit, shoot a motherfucker, kill everything in sight. We wouldn't even have to do that if we had a voice. If black people came together and put their mind, money, and resources together, we would have our own government, our own economic power. We wouldn't need the powers that be. So, um, I really hate that I had to grow up into this. That's why I ain't bringing no other kids into this fucking world. But I'm glad that I see the truth. I'm glad that I have been studying for over 10 years, studying, meditating, trying to get my mind right because the world around us is crumbling. And if you don't have your shit together or your mind right, you will crumble with this motherfucking society and you will burn with the rest of the world. So what do we do about this? To finish off this conclusion, the only thing to do about this is keep being creative. Keep fighting against the machine. Stand up against tyranny. You shall not be silenced. You are the truth. Peace.